Turn now to Fox 11 medical expert, Dr. Al. Dr. Alan Tricaski joins us live from his office in Kakana. Good morning, Dr. Al. Good morning, Rachel. How do you feel today? Well, I feel okay, but my daughter was home last week for an entire oh week with a flu, but we don't know if it's the swine flu. What are you seeing at your office? Well, it's very difficult to tell. In fact, I have my sleeves rolled up because we have a lot of work to do and we're very busy already. You know, we have had a ton of people call with symptoms of the headache, cough, low-grade fever, sometimes body aches. Of course, everybody wants to know if they have the H1N1 or swine flu. You know, last week there was a lot of information about the University of Wisconsin having swine flu. There was even news, which was new to me, by the way, of swine flu here in Kukana. So I did some investigation. And you know, the swine flu tests are not accurate, at least the rapid ones. We have a ton of information that has been given to us as physicians to keep us updated on, on how, you, it, how you diagnose it. And there is a rapid test for swine flu, but it is inaccurate. So the, the cases that you hear about here there in Kokana or at the University of Wisconsin saying there are four swine flu cases or 100 swine flu cases, those are tests that have probably been done a week before not the ones that have been done right now or the rapid test. Because there's so, a culture you can take, right, that takes about five to seven days to get the results. Exactly, and by then most people are, are better. already better. So I guess after, for, for me personally, and maybe this is the case for a lot of people, I'm not as afraid of swine flu now that I think I may have experienced it in my own house. It's just like a nasty bug. Well, that's presumably what it's going to be like. It's not going to be terrible where people are dropping over, but there are high-risk categories. So let me tell you who needs to be immunized okay. against the H1N1. And let me see if I have the list right. All pregnant women, children 6 months to 24 years, adults 24 to 64 if you have chronic serious medical conditions, all healthcare and emergency medical workers, and not people over the age of 65. Now, the confusion is this is swine flu, not to be confused with regular seasonal flu. So people over the age of 65 should be immunized for the regular seasonal flu. So some people will get one shot, some people will get two shots. Okay, and not to downplay I, I it, I didn't I mean to right. do that. Um, but how do we treat it? Do we treat it the, the same way as the regular flu for the rest of us who are not in those high-risk categories? How, how do you treat it if you have it, Rachel? Yes. Bed Stay rest home. and fluids? Bed rest. And the other information that just came out yesterday is that now the experts are finding out that swine flu is probably more communicable longer than, than you'd think. So even when you're starting to feel better and you think you're back to the world of the living, you should not go back to work, school, etc. as long as you're still coughing because theoretically now you can spread the H1N1 longer, maybe a week or so. So really people are going to be out of work and school longer than they think. Now, the other big thing is this. A lot of people think the world revolves around them. Guess what? It doesn't. So they think they have to go back to work or have to go back to school. Well, nobody wants you there if you're coughing. Everybody wants you to stay away. Uh, the keyboards you're coughing into, the telephones, your desks, everything else, stay home. I had people yesterday, what, one woman called who was running a daycare who had the symptoms. We could hear the kids crying in the background. We said, what are you doing there? Go home. It's terrible. It, 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 do you find that it's spreading faster than the other common flu? Well, I can't come on, comment on that because I'm not an epidemiologist, but that's what I'm told that it spreads, well, probably the same as regular seasonal flu. It, it's very communicable. Stay home. Well, I know you mentioned the vaccines. We'll get to more on that coming up in our 8 o'clock hour. And Dr. Al is going to join us next hour in our 7 o'clock hour to talk about all the other sicknesses that happen this time of year when kids go back to school and some of the things that they have to deal with. Um, it just doesn't end, does it? <laughs> <laughs> Even with 80-degree weather. My sleeves are rolled up, and I'm ready to work. All right, we'll let you get back to work. Thanks, Dr. Al.